right, so today I want to start off by first congratulating the Kansas City Royals for winning the World Series. I'm from Kansas City, so it's a little bit personal to me. Big congrats to those guys. So uh, today I'm going to show you how I uh, caricaturize or illustrate uh, buildings in Photoshop. And this was a question from Eric Weeble, Weeble, Weeble. Uh, not sure how to say his last name, but you know who you are. And this question, is, or this is to answer your question on, on how I illustrate buildings in Photoshop. So this is going to be our starting point for this uh, quick, hopefully quick tutorial. Now, before I get started, go to photillustrator.com. You can check out some of my work. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at photillustrator. Or on Facebook, you can like the Photillustrator page at forward slash Photillustrator. All right, so now that all that nonsense is out of the way, let's get on to the good stuff, which is showing you how I illustrate these buildings in Photoshop. So this is our finished product. This is where I started in uh, with that building. And then we're going to break this thing down here to the actual Bass Pro Shop building. So after I did the color correction and some uh, perspective changes, this is what I came up with. And then this is where I ended with. All right, now I'm not sure that I'm gonna get the exact same result today, but you know, we'll see what we can come up with. So I'm working on a Mac, just so you know, uh, that I'm gonna use these shortcuts for Mac. I have no idea what they are for PC, uh, but what I start off with is a lasso tool and just go around, lasso that. I don't like that selection because it cuts that tree off and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna change the dimension of that tree just a little bit. So let's do another one just to make sure there we get it. Just like that, good. And then I command J to copy that. So now I have a copy command T to transform it and now we can go in and give it a warp so this is where all the real fun magic happens here <laughs> all right so just do that and we can come up here and give it a bigger than life kind of feel there and just make sure that all our edges and everything looks kind of cool now you can see down here that the trees aren't affected too much so that's probably not gonna matter a whole lot. So return on that so we can set it. Now what we're looking for here, just so you know, or what I'm looking for here, are the lines and making sure that the lines all line up. Now clearly, you can see here that that line does not line up. All right, so we're gonna have to fix all this stuff in here. Down here isn't too bad, and when we go in, we have to also realize that we're gonna have things overlapping it, which we, so you look at where my person is here and he's overlapping that edge that doesn't line up here so I could keep it like that and be okay with it and that type of thing however I usually don't just because I might be moving him around later in the composite when I'm you know finalizing it or putting him in place where I really want him whatever it is so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get rid of some of that so i put in a layer mask get my uh, paintbrush tool make sure i'm at 100 percent flow 100 percent opacity and i'll set my hardness roughly around 80 it's usually between 75 and 85 i set it uh, and then blow it up here and just go in here make sure you're on black come in here and just start getting rid of some of this here Again, we're just trying to match up our lines here. We know that this line is overlapping anyway. It gets a little funky up in here. Now, important thing to understand, and you can see that the you can see that this edge here is showing here. Now we can fix that here in just a little bit if we really want to get technical about all this good stuff. And let's see, we can bring our hardness down and kind of fudge it a little bit there, make those trees blend in. A lot of what uh, 
compositing is, what I have figured out, a lot of what compositing is, is basically just tricking the eye to believe something that you want it to believe. All right. So it doesn't mean that it has to be balls on perfect because it doesn't. Most of the stuff I do is anything but balls on perfect. Uh, it, a lot of it is just basically just tricking the eye to believe something that could be or could not be really happening. All right. So I'm just going to come up here. That looks pretty good. I mean, that's good enough. And then we're going to put a layer under that. We're going to get our stamp tool or clone tool, whatever you want to call it. Come in here, take a clone of that. Come over here. Just like that. And you fix that area there. All right. So that's good there. Now we come down here and we can see that uh, we still have some issues here with our lines. So just go in there, push out our lines. And then down here, I'll put a hardness, a real soft hardness on it, just so I can get a better blending. And all it has to do is kind of blend. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything, especially down here when you're looking at the trees and all this foliage. Who Nobody's ever going to be able to tell. All right. So let's look and see what we have here. Everything looks like it's pretty good. All right, so that's how I uh, photillustrate that building. Now, if we come over here to the big building here, let's go ahead and just merge those. Now let's go to our lasso tool. Now with this one, I'm going to come all the way back here to the back. Come down here. Just like that. Command J, copy it. Do a transform and then a warp. And then with the warp, do whatever you like. It's all up to you. This is your opportunity to do whatever your heart desires make it look however you want and you know i don't think that you can make it look bad you know it, i mean this is an unreal scene anyway uh although i'm trying to get some realism in it uh it's still a rather unreal scene and so i wanted to exaggerate things to emphasize especially the bass pro shop because that's the whole purpose of this image. All right, so we're gonna come in here. I'm just gonna do that. And then when we're looking at it, the main thing that I'm focusing on when I'm looking at this part is making sure that the Bass Pro Shop sign uh, appears in the image, in the final image, all right? So you can see that there's a little bit of difference between uh, what I finally came up with. I like this a little bit better. I didn't warp it so extreme. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to stick with this. Come in here, put our layer mask on it, and then just get our lines right again. All right. So we know that we're going to go back up to about 80, 85, 80, something like that. And then we're just going to come in here and start painting out the lines that we don't want. All right. So that's... A big problem there we see that that's a big problem we don't like all that so what I would do here is I'd come in and warp it and overlap that because I don't want to have to go in and try to paint that out and it just has to be overlapped a little bit again doesn't have to be perfect. Let's go out just a little bit. And then we can go just the opposite if we really kind of want to do that. And then we can go here. We can bring this out just a little bit. I hope you're getting the idea that you can do whatever you want here. That's the coolest part about doing this type of uh, compositing work is you can literally do whatever the heck you want. Now we could also put a layer under this one and go back in here. 
we have that little area there so get our uh, clone tool go in here and just get rid of that and that makes that very easy if you don't like that you could do the same but honestly it doesn't read as anything that's abnormal and then you go over here to the other side and you can get rid of uh, whatever problem lines you're having over here so you can just come in here and work it just like that now because you have this shadow right here right here we can do a softer uh, brush to blend that better so get that really far down there and then just come in here you can see that window showing up we don't want that to show up all right so just like that got this roof here you want to blend in and then whatever else down here that all looks pretty good okay so you see the bottom line down here is messed up so you just go in here and just blend that out if you do that soft edge you can really hide a lot of stuff really easy on this good just like that here's something here that I don't like doesn't look right so come in there that's fudge good enough and come in here and just get rid of all that make sure lines line up and everything That's pretty good right there. The only issue that we're going to have here is this window and let's see what's underneath it. So what you could do, you could come in here, grab that, copy it, put it on top and then move it over to where you want it. About like that put a layer mask on it and get rid of some of the stuff around it that that tree is not a big deal when you scale this thing where you're gonna scale it that tree isn't gonna make much difference and you can do real soft edge on that kind of fake it there or you could come in and do a um, clone stamp there's a lot of different things you can do but that looks good because when we i mean we're at 200 right now when we go down to 100 percent, you can't really see that everything looks really good all right so that's our building that's how i caricaturize it or how i illustrate it now what i'll tend to do here i'm just going to put all blend that all together and what i'll tend to do here is i'll put another um, layer on here connect the two so make sure I'm only on that layer and then I'll go in here and start painting in some things here I'll do about a 30 percent on this don't want white so come in here all right so now we're getting into another tutorial that I'll be doing here soon but how I kind of get the light direction that I want and that type of thing. So you can come in here and just come in and emphasize some areas. We clearly like the Bass Pro Shop sign, so we want to make sure that it stands out a lot. And if we do the white, come in here, just like that. I tend to like bring this down just a little bit just because I don't like to be so harsh on the white. You 
You can see how that's bringing that edge out quite a bit, which is kind of cool. Just like that. Cool. All right, and then you can bring in another layer of mask, do an opacity on it, or an overlay on it, I'm sorry. Grab your brush tool, bring your opacity up to 100, your flow down to one, and then just come in here and really pop those areas that you want popped. Let's see, let's go with white here, so get that. Really get those edges to kind of stand out. That's where the uh, nice illustrative quality comes from, in my opinion, is when you get those edges to pop out a little bit more. It's all about the lines. I don't know that I did all this on the original one. I mean, it was kind of stood on its own, but... I'm just showing you some of the things you can do to really get those lines to pop out and, and get some perspective and dimension in it. You can see here that the window is all jacked up. That's not what you want. Anyway, you could go in and when we were doing the other part of it, you could have fixed that. I didn't notice that, but that's something that you could fix. Uh, again, when you look at overlapping and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't make any difference. But I like to try to make everything look as good as possible before I do all that. Just because you know, I never know where I'm going to put my people. You know, ultimately where they're going to end up. But anyway, that gives you a good idea on how I illustrate some of the buildings that I do. Now you can go in a lot more detail and you can turn them a little bit, add some... Uh, other sides on it give it some more three-dimensionality that type of thing this already is shot from a you know a perspective that already shows two sides but if you shoot a building straight on you can add perspective add other sides to it warp it do a lot of really cool things uh, to make that building really pop out and illustrate it so anyway this is how I illustrate buildings I hope you got a lot out of this tutorial and it makes sense to you Go out, give it some, you know, give it some tries. You can't mess it up. As long as you add the uh, layer mask, you're working non-destructively. And even if you do work destructively, who cares? Just keep doing it over and over. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get. You'll come up with things that I haven't even thought of uh, that you can show me in videos that you do. And we can make these things look really, really badass. So anyway, go out, give it a shot, see what you come up with. And I'll see you next time on Depot Illustrator. <laughs>